So for today, we're going to focus on strengthening. So same thing, we'll be, we'll be going through uh, some exercises that you can practice at home. So firstly, if you haven't already done, you can switch the mode to side-by-side -side mode. So today, I'll be assisted by Pujas. I'll be having all the exercises. So I'll spotlight her video later on. And kindly leave your sound muted throughout the exercise. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop us an email or you can ask after the session. All right, so first off, we're going to start with some diaphragmatic breathing like we did before. So I'm going to spotlight puja. So if you can see, we're going to place our hands on our upper chest and our lower tummy. And we're just going to breathe in and feel our ribs moving upwards and outwards. We're going to start with some really breathing exercise because we need to be breathing. Uh, we need to be breathing throughout all our exercises. So we're going to take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Make sure your tummy is not rising up and we're breathing into the ribs. Feel the ribs expanding in through your nose, out through your mouth, in through your nose out through your mouth, in through your nose, out through your mouth, and once more, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Good. So now that we got the diaphragmatic breathing done, let's move on to some strengthening exercises. So our first exercise will be strengthening our scapular shoulder muscles. So the muscles around our shoulder blade. So this helps us to maintain a good posture and make sure that our shoulders are not rounding forwards. So first, what we need to do is bring our arm up. Okay, we're going to start with the right side first. We're going to bring our arm up in a 90 degree angle and we're going to bring the shoulder blade towards the middle of the spine. So we're going to do this without engaging the muscles in your in your upper arm. So what you want to do is feel the muscles in the middle of your back pulling your shoulder blade there. You shouldn't feel a strain on your upper arm, okay? And make sure that your neck is not tensed, okay? Relax your neck, and we're gonna just bring it in towards the middle of the spine and out again, and we're gonna do this 10 times, all right? So make sure you do not elevate your shoulders, you do not move your elbow backwards, so elbow has to be in neutral. So we're gonna bring it in towards the middle of the spine, one, and relax, and two, and relax. Three. And relax. Four. So again, make sure your elbows are not moving. You're moving your shoulder blades. And relax. Five. And relax. So you're not moving your elbows. You're moving your shoulder blades inwards towards your spine. Relax. Six. Relax. Seven. Relax, eight, relax, and 10, and relax. Good, okay, now moving on to the next exercise. So next exercise, we're going to do a chin tuck lift. So you need to get onto your yoga mat now. Okay, so we've been practicing a few of the chin tuck exercises. So this is going to be a little bit more advanced level. So if you have difficulty doing the chin tucks, I will recommend that you still continue doing the chin tucks before progressing these ex to this exercise. So what you're going to do is get a rolled up towel un under your neck and we're going to perform a little chin tuck. So Puja's got a bolster there, so that's good as well, as long as it keeps your neck in a neutral position. So you're gently going to tuck that chin down and you're going to with that chin tuck without losing it, gently lift off the head of the towel as well. And bringing it back down slowly and relax. So we're gonna do this eight times. So chin tuck in towards the neck and lifting off of the bolster. Good, and one, and relax. Make sure you're not lifting your shoulders off, so it's just a little lift off of the bolster and make sure that you do not lose that that chin tuck as you lift and do not extend the neck when you're lying down okay let's do it again chin tuck and lift three and down slowly 
good. Chin tuck and lift. Four and down slowly. Chin tuck and lift. Five and down. Chin tuck and lift. Heaving down, don't hold your breath. Chin tuck and lift. Seven and last one. Chin tuck and lift. Eight. Very good. Well done. So this is a progression of the chin tuck exercise to work on the neck muscles. Okay, next exercise we're going to do is we're going to do some pelvic tilt exercise before we progress to more advanced exercise. So we want to refresh our memory on the pelvic tilt exercise. So same thing, keeping knees shoulder width apart. We just want to flatten the back against the mat without lifting the back off. So exhale as you flatten the back against the mat and hold it for five counts and then we're going to release. Just remember it's a little pelvic tilt, it's not a lift. Okay, so we're going to do some pelvic tilts again and we're tilting and holding. One, two, three, four, five and relax. And we're tilting and holding again. One, two, three, four, five and relax. Tilt and hold. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Tilt and hold. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Once more, tilt and hold. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Good. Now in the same position, we're going to do it with a little bit of a leg lift. So now we're going to do the pelvic tilts and we're going to lift off our, our right leg first, just 15 degrees off the ground like this without losing the pelvic tilt. And then we're going to bring it down again. Good. So it's important to bring your leg up and down slowly and not rush into it. And make sure as you lift your leg off the ground, you're not arching your back. Okay, so we're going to start with our pelvic tilt first. So we're going to pelvic tilt, flatten your back against the ground and we're going to lift the right leg up and bring it back down. That's one. Good. Keep the tilt on. Keep breathing and lift up. Two and down. And lift up. Three and down. And lift up, four, and down. Lift up, five, and down. Keep breathing. And lift up, six, and down. Make sure you're not straining in the abdominals. Lift up, seven, and down, lift up, eight, and down. Keep pressing that back flat two more times. Lift up, nine, and down, and once more, lift, and down, and relax. So you shouldn't feel breathless at all because you should be breathing throughout these exercises. So always remember, tilt and exhale as you lift and gently lower your leg. Okay, now we're going to do the same for the left side. So we're going to flatten our back against the mat again. Hold the tilt, make sure you're not bracing on your abdominals. And we're going to lift the left leg. One. And down and two and down and three and down and four and down and five and down six and down, 
seven and down eight and down nine and down last one ten and down good so as you get stronger and as you get better with the core control, you should be able to lift your leg higher without any movement in the back. So the back will stay flattened on the ground and you will not be bracing from your abdominals. So to progress these exercises, you can start with lifting your legs slightly higher or even trying to straighten it a little more. Okay, next one, we're going to stay on the mat. We're going to strengthen our glute muscles, so the side glute muscles, which is important to help us in the stability when we walk, you know, when we're standing on one leg. This helps us to take the load off the spine and make sure we're not stressing and ensure that we're not stressing the spine or changing our biomechanic alignment. So it's very important to strengthen this muscle. Okay, so for this exercise, you're going to do it in side lying. We're going to slightly bend the knee, but we're not going to flex the hip. So you have to make sure that your hip is not flexed up and your knee is not coming upwards towards your chest. So your hips and your shoulders should be aligned nicely. And make sure throughout this exercise that your hips are not rolling forwards and it's not rolling backwards as you open your legs. So you're going to keep your ankles together and you're just going to separate your knees and lift them, lifting them up. So ankles together, separating the knees, lifting them up and you should feel the muscle moving and the side of the glutes where puja is pointing. Okay, so once again, when you're lifting up, uh, separating the knees, your hips shouldn't be moving backwards, it shouldn't be moving forwards. So your hips should always be aligned in neutral. All right, let's start. So we're going to start it on this side first. And then we're going to lift up and close down one. And up, same thing. Don't arch the lower back and keep breathing. Two. And up. Three and up four and up five and up six you should feel the muscle on the side of the glutes working and up seven and up eight and up nine last one up ten good now we're going to switch over to the other side so in the same position make sure your hips are aligned with your shoulders your hips shouldn't be rolled forwards or backwards knees should not be coming up towards the chest okay we're going to stick our ankles together and we'll make sure our lower back is not arching and we're going to separate our knees Okay, we're ready. And we're going to lift. And up. And one. Down. Up. Two. Down. Up. Three. Down. Up. Four. And down. Up. Five. And down. Up six and down, up seven, down, up eight, down, up nine, down, last one, up ten, and slowly lower. Good. So this exercise is to strengthen again the side of the hips. So it's, really, it's a really good exercise to do, but you have to make sure how do you get the most out of the exercise is you do not do compensatory movements. So if you're going to be doing this exercise, always make sure that your hips are not moving forwards or backwards and make sure you're feeling the muscle activation in the right places when you're doing these exercises. Okay, next exercise, we will be going on our backs. 
So we will be strengthening the muscle that will prevent the winging of our shoulder blades. So it's called the serratus anterior muscle. So this muscle is found at the side of your rib cage where Pooja is pointing out, and it helps with the protraction of our shoulder. So what we're going to do is we're going to lie on our back with our legs bent, shoulder width apart. So same thing, don't keep your don't let your knees go in towards each other. And with our hands facing the ceiling, what we're going to do is we're going to protract our shoulders upwards towards the ceiling. Okay, and then we're going to hold this position for three seconds and then come back down. So we did this exercise previously against the wall or a towel with the ball. So we're going to do it in this position to give it a little bit of um, against gravity. Okay, so in this exercise, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be lifting your shoulder off the ground. Okay, so your neck and your back would still be on the ground. You should just feel like your shoulder gliding forwards and upwards towards the ceiling and then coming back down. Okay, let's start. So we're gonna straighten our elbows, make sure our elbows are not bent. And we're going to push our hands upwards towards the ceiling and hold one, two, three, and relax. And going to push up again, hold one, two, three, and relax. And push up again, hold one, two, three, and relax. And pushing up again, hold one, two, three, and relax. And push up, hold one, two, three, and relax. Push and hold. One, two, three, and relax. If you feel like doing both two hands at the same time is difficult, you can do one hand at a time. Okay, let's push up. One, two, three, and relax. Push up. One, two, three, and relax. And once more, push up and hold. One, two, three, and relax. So you can do this exercise to help you um, get some shoulder stability as well. Okay, next exercise is we're gonna do some scapular um, push-ups. So if you get a chair that is not rolling, it will be a little bit more of an incline. So that will give you a little bit more uh, of a different level that you can do on. If not, you can do it on your yoga mat as well. That's fine. So getting your surface at an inclined surface or even on the yoga mat, what we're going to do is we're not going to do regular push-ups. So the same movement that we just did just now, you know, pushing upwards towards the ceiling. But right now, we're going to push on the floor with resistance of our body weight. So we're going to feel our shoulders pushing outwards like this. So like Pooja is going to demonstrate, it's just the shoulders pushing up, pulling the middle back upwards, and then dropping it down to neutral again. And keep your core tight. Remember to exhale through these exercises. Okay, we're going to push up and down 10 times. Make sure your lower back is not arching. And make sure your hands are right underneath your shoulders. They shouldn't be too high up, and they shouldn't be too low down as well. It shouldn't cause any pain. So if this exercise causes you pain, then I advise you to stop doing this exercise and take a break. All right, let's start. So getting into that position, make sure your core is switched on so that you do not arch your lower back. Make sure your neck is in a neutral position as well so you do not stick your neck forwards. We're going to push up away from the floor and down to neutral. That's one. And push up away from the floor and down, two, and up, and down, three, and up, and down, four, and up, and down, five, up, and down, six, up, and down, seven, up, and down, eight, and down nine and up 
and down 10. Good. And rest. Okay, so reaching one of the last exercises for today. So we're going to do a little bit of core strengthening exercise. So for those of you who do know this exercise, we're going to start in a four-point kneeling position and we're going to reach forwards with alternate hands and alternate legs. So we're going to do this very slowly. So remember the chin, uh, the pelvic tilt exercise that you did. So we're going to gently tuck the pelvis downwards to make sure that our back remains flattened so that we do not lose that position as we're lifting off. So your back shouldn't be arching as you lift your hands or your legs. So if you find that your back is arching, if you find this exercise too difficult, then I would suggest that you try one limb at a time. So instead of doing alternate hands and alternate legs, you can just do one hand lift off and reach forwards, or one leg reach backwards, straighten and come back. But for this exercise, you'll be reaching forwards and backwards with alternate hands and alternate legs. All right, so in that position, Okay, switch on your core, make sure your chin is nice and tucked in a neutral position. And we're gonna reach our right hand forwards and our left leg back and slowly come back to neutral and four point kneeling again. So again, make sure you're not tilting as you reach and exhale as you reach. Okay, we're gonna go slow for this exercise. Okay, let's reach again. Right hand forwards, left leg kick out, two, and come back. Good. And reach. Three. And back. And reach. Four. And back. And reach. Five. And back. And reach. Six and back, and reach, eight, and back. So you wanna make sure that you're not kicking too high up, because if you kick too high up, that's gonna cause your back to extend, and your back to arch. So you wanna make sure that you're kicking enough to engage your core, but yet not losing that flattening of the lower back. So keeping the spine in neutral. All right, two more, let's go. Reaching right hand forwards, left leg out, nine and back, and 10 and back. Good, well done. All right, now we're gonna switch over to the other side. So we're gonna reach our left hand forwards and kick our right leg out. So again, remember as you're kicking, make sure you're not extending your lower back. Make sure your hips are not tilting towards each side. Okay, and let's go. Stretch left hand and reach one and come back. And keep breathing, two, reach and come back. Reach, three, and back. Reach, four, and back. Reach five and back. Reach six and back. Reach seven and back. Reach eight and back. Nine. And back, and last one, 10, and back, good. So as you get stronger, you should be able to hold that position for a period of time. So start with no holds first, and then you can hold it for about five counts. And for those of you who are interested to do an advance, so we're gonna look at the picture on the right. So it's similar, we start off in four point kneeling. So instead of just lifting off alternate hands and alternate legs to reach forwards, we're just going to lift the knee and lift the hand. 
So this is an advanced level if you can see the picture. So just lifting the knee off the ground in that four-point kneeling position. So you can try this. One exercises are going to EV down the road. Okay, and that's all the exercises that we have today. So you can look up for more of the videos that we do for our classes on our YouTube channel at Physio Asia Therapy Center. We'll be uploading our all the classes that we conducted on Zoom on YouTube so that you can listen to the advice and even um, recall of the exercises that we thought and just go through those exercise routines again half an hour every day and that will keep your posture good and your back and your neck will thank you for it.